Welcome back to Grown Kids TV with Lindsay and Mike. Today we have two $60 damaged boxes from Toy USA. What week is it? This is their week 12 scavenger hunt. Okay. So some, some highlights from this week's uh, scavenger hunt, which we're really excited about. Animal from the Muppets. Man, I've been wanting that for a while. I should just, just finally just buy it. But as soon as I buy it, I know we're going to pick it up one of these boxes. Yeah. Uh, but there's also a couple others. Another one from this one would be Jim Halpert, which Lindsay really wants. She already has a few of the Office collection, and we want more. We did have that one for a little bit. We sold it for $75. Uh, which was a really good profit on that one. Yeah. However, uh, she would really just want it for a personal collection. Uh, so Animal, Jim Halpert, uh, Kurt Cobain's in there, Neo's in there, John Wick's in there. So there's a lot of good options. And they have the, the Red Mystery one. Oh, Which okay. I guess if you get the Red Mystery one, you have to contact them and then you get a special prize or something. So that's pretty exciting. So for today's Featured Funko, this one goes way back. This is before we really got into Funkos, uh, but Lindsay got me the Ninja Turtles Party Wagon. So they call it Turtle Van. I used to call it Party Wagon. Uh, this is the old school one. This is like the original TV series, you can tell, because uh, it has a frowny face on the front, because it means business. Um, we do actually have the newer one, uh, not Funko, but we bought this at... <laughs> A garage sale from a kid for like a dollar. Yeah. We actually use this as a new one, the Nickelodeon style one, I believe. We actually use this. Uh, we put some, sometimes put postcards in here. Uh, sometimes we put three by five index cards, business cards. Uh, we open up the back. We put whatever we need for shipping supplies in here. Uh, it's been a while since we've used it because uh, we got to keep buying more desks and everything. But. Uh, I mean, this is about as grown kids TV as you can get, using toys as ways of holding letterheads and stuff. Okay. All right, so jumping into the fun. Two $60 week 12 mystery boxes with some great highlights. We have got a couple decent pops recently. Yeah. Uh, just in a box we opened, hopefully the last video from this one, uh, we got B for Vendetta, which was a great hit. Yeah, that was like, what, $60 or something? $60 on PPG, so I don't think we actually looked up how much it was on eBay. Yeah. Might be similar. All right, looks like I have a soft protector. If you want to keep the mystery alive for you guys, the best way to do a Toy USA is open from the bottom. Uh, and then you can see, uh, I'll just show you guys. Uh, you don't really have a good idea of what it might be. If you want to keep a surprise for yourself and do them one at a time. Looks like Lindsay has soft protector as well. I do, and I have one that's pretty Pretty creased. messed up? Yeah. Uh, so, these are the damaged boxes. Usually there's not too much damage. Every once in a while there's a little bit. Uh, also, we're trying out our new lighting setup and our new close-up setup, uh, so let us know. If the autofocus goes crazy and stuff like that, sorry about that, we're working on different settings. So we're just, we're all trying stuff, trying this stuff out. We're trying to make it better for everybody. All right, so I'm gonna go first. Yeah. Lindsay went first last time. This is the not soft protector. Okay, Lady Sif. That's pretty cool. That's from uh, that's from Thor. Uh, she started to be started to be a, uh, a pretty good character in it, and then uh, she's disappeared for like the rest of the series. So, Lady Sif of Thor from Marvel. Look at the uh, tear in that. All right. So this one does have some box damage. It's right there, right there. If you guys do sell these on eBay or Mercari or whatever. Point out all the flaws. We take ang pretty much every angle you can on this. Uh, we're not professional graders, so we just put in the description like, hey, check the box out yourself. Take a look for yourself. 
Let's see. All right, what's Lindsay got for it? Is that the damaged one? Yeah, we're gonna do that one first. Oh, oh but it's Evil Queen! Oh, Lindsay, you're gonna like the look of oh, this. Oh, it's the glitter one I can already tell by the sticker. The Diamond Hot Topic Exclusive. Oh, it's so It cute. really, that's awesome. So yeah, I mean, yeah, the, the bottom is a little, there's a crease. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but it's really not that bad. Yeah. It felt worse than it actually is. And these are my new favorite. I, I do love the flocked, but I think the diamond ones are getting uh, getting on my my wish list. Wally and Eve are on the back. Oh no. Did I make a Wally diamond one? Oh man. But that diamond <laughs> stitch that Lindsay hadn't showed off a couple videos ago, that one is amazing. Yeah. All right, so next one. Oh, A-Team. Nice. This is Hannibal from A-Team. Uh, huge fan growing up. Uh, a team and then the movie was amazing uh and when i went to france when i was in the navy went to france and i was sitting there watching G tv and they had the a team in french and i thought that was funny because huge mr t comes out and he's like that's because boy is he won't come on and it just throws you off completely but <laughs> hannibal oh man that's awesome an a team one i didn't expect an a team Stormtrooper. Red Stormtrooper. That's an only that's at Target. That's pretty cool. If you guys haven't seen Target, uh, we went to Target and we stopped and we saw it. Uh, and I'll put up here, we sold them right away. Uh, but it was the uh, Boba Fett and he was the Black Edition and it came sealed in a hard case. Oh, yeah. Like sealed yeah. in a hard stack. And I believe they still shipped for under a pound for us when they sold them. It was like right at a pound. Yeah. So I was able yep. to do first class. Uh, but just really, really, really cool looking. Uh, uh, pop and then sealed in the hard case so then you know it's going to be in good condition and it was just it was a black edition Boba Fett which is probably one of the coolest Star Wars characters all right so last non soft protector Harry Potter and it is actually uh -huh. Harry Potter himself uh, with his little owl <gasps> that's cute so hot top exclusive um, and you can even see the little scar up in his forehead so that's some good detail uh, but yeah, I, we love a lot of the the smaller characters that come with the pops. For instance, our uh, Harley Quinn with her little uh, beaver with the tutu. tutu uh, yeah. Oh my god, it's so adorable. <laughs> All right. Oh. What is that? Zero with his bone oh, from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. That is really really awesome. That's super cute, and it's a box lunch exclusive. He's got his little pumpkin as oh a nose. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. I'm not even a crazy like Nightmare Before Christmas fan, but that's really cute. All right, so Mike's soft protector. Oh, it's the pets edition. So these have been doing pretty good. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. I didn't know it was gonna be that cute. Right, a little bit darker, so it might be hard to come up on the camera. Uh, but man, is that an adorable, adorable pop. I did not expect that. I don't oh my think, gosh. I don't think we've got a, a pop pet yet. No, we haven't. All right, here's my soft protector. All you right. You ready? I'm ready. White Lantern oh, Wonder Woman? That's really cool. It's, it's a glow in the dark? She's glow in the dark, a Fugitive Toys exclusive. That one is pretty cool. I haven't seen that before. Yeah. Uh, we did have the Wonder Woman DC Bombshells one. Oh, yeah. And we listed that for sale and it sold instantly. Uh, but yeah, that's a pretty cool one. If you're in the DC, uh, also variant type outfits and stuff, this is pretty cool. White Lantern Wonder Woman. Uh, and yeah, it glows in the dark. Uh, so let's take a look at how much these are gonna be. Now remember, the guaranteed value that Toy USA does is not counting any damage and at the time that they uh, list them all. All right, so. Oh, that has the sticker underneath. So ten dollars. Alright, and I'll keep track of these. Fourteen dollars. And let's look up Evil Queen. Ooh, Evil Queen is nineteen dollars. Alright, and my soft protector. 
If our soft protector is 43, so this one might be about 20. $17. So 17, which puts us right at $60. Yeah. And might be a little bit of fluctuation on those based on how much they actually sell for. I was just looking up Evil Queen, they looked like they're going a little bit higher than what it said. Okay. All right. So now I, yours? Yep, we'll do our, mine. First we'll start off with Lady Sif. $13. Okay, and Hannibal from 18. $12. And Harry Potter. Oh, he's got a little Your barcode. Your lizard, Harry Potter. $16. Alright, so $41 so far. This one's so cute. $27. So $68. So $68 and $60 according to PPG. So coming through on the minimum value. Uh, however, I do think that some of these are going to sell for a little bit higher. Yeah. Uh, even with a little bit of box damage, it might go for a bit more. Uh, we recently sold a Batman that we put right in the, t the title description uh, damaged and it went for I think like ten dollars higher than PPG oh yeah was saying. probably and that and was with damage box fully displayed damage we don't try to hide anything yeah and it was pretty quick too like I don't know how long but I really like this one a lot and I really like Evil Queen and Zero there's definitely some good ones in here. So here's all of them from this uh, two $60 mystery boxes. And I think the best part about this lineup is the variety. Yeah. Uh, sometimes we just get four or five Star Wars, four or five BT-21s, uh, a bunch of anime. But in this one, we got Marvel, television, Harry Potter, pets, DC, uh, Disney, another Disney, and Star Wars. It's definitely a good lineup. Like, Unless you think of it as Disney. Then it's Disney, 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 that's Disney, That's fair. Disney. That's but, a good point. But all different lines of Disney. Yeah, Disney owns the world. Yeah, that's true. Disney and Tom Cruise. Okay. <laughs> so if you want to see more stuff like this, uh, we're going to keep two playlists going on our channel. One for the Funkos and the other side for eBay reselling and everything like that. Uh, and then there will be a couple probably that just fall outside those. But if you like the Funkos, get into the Funko playlist, check it out, and then subscribe. If you like what you see, comment, uh, like, let us know what you want to see more of. Let us know what types of mystery boxes you want to go with. Should we try those random Amazon ones, which we've done like one time? Should we try those uh, lower name ones that we see on Instagram? Um, because sometimes it works out, sometimes yeah. I don't know. It might be a good idea to buy uh, a lower name person is trying to make a name for themselves because they're going to put some good stuff in a mystery box, send it out, get it on YouTube, get some name recognition, and then their sales go up. That's that's a good point. Or you might just get scammed. That's fair. So let us figure it out for you. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, see you later.